Hello geometry students, today's learning target are problems 6, 7, and 8, which are adding and subtracting radicals from unit 7. If I take a quick look at the radical video in class note link, when I click that, I'll come to this screen and you'll see the learning target to multiply radicals. I'm going to click the class notes just to show you what we did in class as a refresher. You could add in problem number one, you could add the three and the four to get seven. So you get seven square root of two. You do not add the numbers underneath the radical. In problem number two, you can put together the three root seven and the eight root seven to make 11 root seven, but you cannot put it together with a two square root of three because they are different radicals. So let's take a look at the examples we did in the study guide. So both of these are square root of 14, which means I could add, or in this case subtract, the two yellow numbers. So when you do that, you get negative 3 square root of 14. In problem number 7, we have to simplify the radicals because root 27 breaks down. So this is 4 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 3, which becomes 4 times 3 square root of 3, which is 12 square root of 3. 12, the square root of 12 also breaks down, so it's negative 2 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is negative 2 times 2 square root of 3, which is negative 4 square root of 3. And then I have to copy down that last 3 square root of 3. So since they're all square roots of 3, I'm allowed to add the coefficients, meaning these yellow numbers that I'm highlighting. So when I add 12, negative 4, and 3, I get 11 square root of 3. And then if we look at problem number 8, we have the square root of 15, and we also have the square root of 7. You only could put together the square root of 15s. So you could put the 2 and negative 3 together, so you have negative 1 square root of 15 minus 4 square root of 7. You don't have to write the 1, it's not incorrect. If you left the answer as negative square root of 15 minus 4 square root of 7, that would be perfectly fine. 